Gang, gang. Before Ugly God had over 58 million plays on his SoundCloud, before touring the country as a viral underground sensation with no studio album. Before announcing his first big state for 2017 titled The Booty Tape. Before letting us all know what he's looking for in a woman. I'm happy to hear he is into women. I thought he was only into Pokemon. Ugly God grew up an American kid whose family never stayed in one place for long, but that would give him an edge today in the viral music world. Staying in touch with friends around the country allowed him to spread the word of Ugly God throughout the United States. He was forced to take down his online music twice while in high school, and Ugly God didn't even plan on becoming a rapper. He was more interested in becoming a YouTuber. But with the success of his first song, Beat My Meat, Ugly God found himself getting deeper and deeper into rap, and after several more viral successes, he dropped out college after his first year to do it full time. So but you didn't actually graduate. Don't say it like that, bro. Like, what's going on, guys? My name is Michael Bucrens, and welcome to Before They Are Famous. In this video, we are documenting the life and career of the rapper and booty enthusiast, the Ugly God. Or maybe it's just Ugly God. You can also check out other rapper bios like Little Yachty and Fetty Wap. And remember, if you have any requests on who you'd like to see next, well, you can let me know who in the comments down below or on Instagram. Actually, that's where you guys really asked for this one. Ugly God was born John Jeffrey Bean on September 19th, 1996 in Indiana. His father had a good job, but the family moved across the country every couple of years, never allowing young Ugly to have the same friends for too long. He moved from Indiana to Mississippi, then to Cleveland, Ohio, then to Houston, Texas, Louisiana, and eventually back to Mississippi. These guys were all over the map. No one asked, Ugly considers himself to be from Houston, Texas, since that's where his family lived the longest, which was only for four years. Four years, that's nothing. I mean, I've got reels of me trying to get people's names right longer than that. DJ Khalid was born Khalid Muhammad Khalid. Jordy Van Den Buster. Jordy Van Den Buster. That's me, by the way, this picture. Ugly God got his unusual name by being just honest, and really, you've got to admire him for that. He knows that he's not perhaps, you know, the most handsome of dudes, but he's still the best of them all. All kinds of ugly motherfuckers. I'm one of them. I'm the top, I'm the big dog. But that wasn't always his rapper name. Ugly used to go by Pussy Bacon. Um, I'm not even kidding. It was actually Ugly's handle on all his accounts from the eighth grade. So I guess if I did the same, well, my rapper name would be Crud the Stud 696969. What? In 2014, just before Ugly's senior year of high school, he made his first song, Beat My Beat, by reversing the Apple ringtone. What the hell was that? But when he put it up online and got around 4,000 hits, he was told to take it down by his AU basketball coach. A few months later, Ugly put it up again, this time getting around 12,000 hits, but it was during his high school basketball season, so then his high school coach told him to take it down again, fearing that colleges wouldn't scout him if they'd heard that song. And he's probably right. I mean, if they did catch wind of it and then saw me dance into it, they'd be like, we want nothing to do with this kid, because a grown man shouldn't dance like that. It wasn't until 2015 after he graduated and was going to college to double major in computer engineering and software development that Ugly put it up one final time. And as they say, the third time's the charm. I eat ass, I'm never starving, god damn. I beat my meat, turn me up, that's my jam. I go fuck Beyonce, but I'd rather use my hand. Although Ugly God had no video for the song, fans were more than willing to make their own, helping spread his music across the internet. Seeing how popular it had become, Ugly decided to make more music during his freshman year of college and started recording songs in his dorm room. Soon after, he dropped his next song, FTBT, a song that outlines what he looks for in a woman. Face, titties, booty, toes. I don't care if you bald headed with one arm. If your toes look good, I'm trying to get your number, bitch. Now those are all pretty good qualities, but if I were to write a song like that, it would be titled FTBA. Face, titties, bank account. Seriously, ladies, Michael needs a sugar mama. Who am I kidding? No women watch these. Ugly's fan base continued to grow, including some new foot fetish fans who liked that Ugly was honest enough to sing about how women having pretty feet was important to him. I like feet. I do not know why. 
With the success of his songs online, Ugly decided to take a break from college to see if he could make this whole rap thing work. And in March of 2016, was the first artist signed to I Love McConan's new indie label, Red Dragon. People loved his music, he got a label, but there was something missing, a straight fire music video. I mean if you're gonna call yourself Ugly God, people are gonna want to see how ugly you actually are. So on March 16, 2016, Ugly uploaded his first official music video. And it went to YouTube, the song was Water. I drip on your bitch like water, I splash on your bitch with the water, I feel like I'm 21 Savage, I pull up and fuck on your daughter. That video right there titled Water, it went viral and has since reached over 17 million views on YouTube. and. 44.6 million plays on SoundCloud. Throughout the year, Ugly continued to drop new tracks through his SoundCloud, talking about the important things in life, the value of the booty, getting bitches, and American politics. Trap, trap, Bernie Sanders. Okay. Dick game Bernie Sanders, swag swag Bernie Sanders. In the fall of 2016, Ugly's viral popularity allowed him to tour the US despite having no studio albums or mixtapes out. Although he's considered an underground phenomenon, there are some critics who think Ugly God is doing more harm to rap than good. And Ugly God, well, he's one of them. You said that you feel your music is trash. Oh, it's trash, terrible. So you're, you're saying your own music is trash. Fucking trash. So don't expect to be seeing Ugly God on the Billboard Top 200 anytime. He has said that he wants to remain killing it as an underground rapper, staying away from the mainstream so he has the freedom to piss it off. Whether he will stay true to his word, well, we'll just have to wait and see because this is before their fans. My name is Michael McCrad and we make all sorts of bio videos here. We've done a whole bunch of rappers, of course. Young M.A., well, that was one of my favorites we recently dropped. We've done Little Yachty, we've done 21 Savage, we've done Little Uzi Vert. Browse around, let us know in the comments down below who's next. See you guys in another video. <laughs> oh, I'm awful. <clears throat>